Shalom. All praise going on to be unto Yahweh by Hashem that was shy. By Hashem Rakakadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS. Salutations to the Yakim out there that's doing his work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. And salutations to the hopefully elect, to the Akwathim that are listening and learning. To you, I say Shalom. Um, this video is called Why More White Men Are Dying from Gun Cases. Okay? And I've I've said it before that when you check FBI statistics, they profile um <clears throat> The, uh, you know, Jake on the news shooting up places and that whole sort of thing. But most of the gun violence is done in America. It's done by so-called white men. Most of the, and this is just fact. This isn't hate. This is just fact. Research and facts. And then most of the uh, victims, of most of the male, mo most white victims of crime are victims from other white people. Fact. FBI statistics. Also, most, uh. Crime is done against police officers with with firearms. Seventy one percent of of uh, of firearm attacks and um, from uh, police uh, on police officers are done by other white males. Facts, FBI statistics. But you would never know that watching the daily news in any given place in America. But yet, I'm full of hate. But what happens? You show the exact opposite. But the Lord is watching all things. OK, not to mention the opioid problem It's the opioid problem, which is really killing more, more uh, people than anything, which is killing mostly Edomites. All right. But the truth of the matter is just they're trying to slowly but surely connect guns to suicide here in America of the white male, because what they want to do is take the guns away. And the reason they want to take the guns away, because they're ready to move on all people. All right. And so this isn't a color thing at all. You know, these Edomites are the ones that always want to make it about color. All right. They, they subliminally pushed white superiority and subtly uh, pushed white superiority un until it's not in their favor anymore. And now, now, you know, so anyway, without any further ado, let's uh, let the video play. In the midst of the debate on gun violence, gun rights and gun control, the largest group of victims is being overlooked. <laughs> Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to D News today. I'm Trace. 64% of gun victims aren't at schools or on rampages. Instead, a study in 2012 found most gun violence victims are the same ones who pulled the trigger. Almost two thirds of all gun deaths in the United States are from suicides, according to this study in the Annual Review of Public Health. And of those, most of them are white males. Homicide rates get a lot of media coverage, but due to the stigma around it, suicide generally doesn't. According to the CDC in 1997, suicide was the eighth leading cause of death in the United States overall. And now, according to this new study, white males are eight times more likely to kill themselves with a gun than be killed by someone using a gun. Surprisingly, the data shows white people commit 70% of all suicides, far more than Hispanics or African Americans. Suicide is among the top 10 causes of death for Latino males, but isn't in the top 10 and see what you have to understand to continue to refer to us as Latinos, to re to continue to refer to us as African American is racist and hateful because they know exactly who we are. All right. This man here is of the Northern Kingdom. All right. To be quite honest with you, I, he hasn't really done enough for me to read his spirit because he could be a tear. And we're constantly telling you it's not about color. It's about seed. All right. And the seed of Esau is in trouble. All right. So he said African-American, but yet he has black. When you look up the definition of black, as you can see me rotating the arrow on, on the word black there on the screen, the word black is a very negative word. A very hateful, negative word. All right. So you have to remember in 1681, the term white was created. All right. You, all of a sudden, the first time in anywhere in the world in the history of mankind, there appeared documents in law that said white people. It's race is a made up construct, which was made up by uh, the so-called white man, so-called. Which is all I point out is truth and facts. OK. But as you can see, the things that Esau have done <clears throat> were is beginning to fall. Um, back upon his own head. All right. That's exactly 
what you're reading, what you, I mean, what you're hearing. This is uh, Colossians 3 and 25, and it reads, But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done, and there is no respect of persons. All right? For black men or women of any race, and most of the time, those suicides are with a firearm. Why someone would choose suicide is usually heavily connected with their overall mental health. 95% of all those who take their own lives have a diagnosable psychiatric disorder, according to Columbia University doctor Victoria Arango. And she says more than half of suicide victims are clinically depressed, which means most of these white men fall into that category. Because they're witnessing their kingdom fall. That's exactly what is going on. America's fallen. The American dream is fallen. They're, uh, they're not loved and, up, and, and uplifted like they once were. You know, the era of John Wayne is, is dead and gone. It's never coming back again. Right. As the scripture says, his, his widows uh, shall not weep. All right. So when he's put to death and wiped away, his widows shall not weep. Because truth of the matter is the Edomite woman is tired of the Edomite male, too. All right. Because the biggest and most powerful feminists and, and, the, and the most hateful feminists are Edomite women. And, the, and their anger is generally directed toward Edomite men. Facts. You might think they're chock full of white male privilege. What do they have to be depressed about? Well, a study in the Journal of Racial and Ethnic Health Disparities found that white men do have fewer life stressors, but they lack the social support structure to properly deal with the stress that they do have. <laughs> the social support structure. Look at white superior. I'm on a comment board uh, fighting with, with theories that were created just to uplift whiteness. The hermetic theory, sub, sub, Saharan pre uh people. So yet you claim to be a Christian and then you disregard what's in the Bible and try to mix your science in with the Bible. Okay? What about the miscegenation laws? You know, the laws in 1681 when whiteness created, they put white first. People of color, especially Negroes, could not own firearms, could not own homes, could not own property, could not vote, could not be with white women. All right? And white women that was with them had to go into slavery with them. All right. Those are the laws that you made. OK. And you live by those laws, the Jim Crow era, redlining. So what does he mean? There's no support structure. All right. Negroes, Latinos, so-called, were the last hired and the first fired. But see, now Edomite men are starting to to, to get a taste of what Jake has been going through all along. And they don't like it. And a lot of them opt their way out. But I got news for you. There is re regeneration and reincarnation. When you come back, you're coming back into slavery. Thus saith the Lord. This is uh, Sirach, uh 40 and uh, 6. 40. Uh, yeah, 40 and 6. The inheritance of sinners, children, shall perish and their posterity shall have a perpetual reproach. The children shall complain of ungodly fathers because they shall be a reproach for his sake. All right. Woe to you, ungodly men, which have forsaken the law of the most high. For if ye increase, it shall be to your own destruction. And if ye are born, ye shall be born to a curse. And if you die, a curse shall be your portion. And that's exactly what they're going through. Their prosperity is born to a, to a curse now. They're barely having children. And the children are born into the world where their future has, has dissipated. Shame has fallen upon your glory now. Okay? You shall have shame for glory. And that's exactly what's happening. Because your history, your own history, proves that you lied about everything. And it proves that you're the Edomite. And it proves that you raped, robbed, and murdered and stole your way to the top. And now the pressures of the world are coming back down upon you. You're not that favored male anymore. All right? And a lot of them are opting out. Pills and suicide. And it's still, and he's they're t telling you guns, which is a lie. It's the opioids and the meth, which is killing them. A hundred a day, a hundred people a day aren't blowing their heads off. A hundred people a day are dying from opioids and meth. So this is just because they want to move on all people. They want to take the guns away. That's what this is all about. Because quietly, this, 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 this suicide thing, uh, it start, guns are starting to be connected to it all of a sudden. More and more and more. Every other story now. And the long-term mishandling of stress can lead down the road to depression. 
If it does, men are less likely to pursue therapy and will often live with depression having never been diagnosed. This research- Well, see, that's just it. Jake has been conditioned to live with stress. Conditioned to live with your documents aren't right. You know, that your, your license may not be right. You're going to work and you don't know if you're gonna get your money, if it's gonna be taken by the state. You don't know if you're gonna be able to pay your rent, if you're gonna be able to pay your phone, pay your mortgage, pay your car payment, you know? Constantly jumping from job to job. Jake, uh, uh, if you know, from the whole thing of slavery. Don't know if you're going to live or die. And even it was even worse after slavery because during slavery, your life was was worth something to the owner. You know, so they may beat you senseless, but they would at least would not kill you. After slavery, uh, Esau would beat, rape, murder you and do whatever the hell he wanted to you and didn't have to face consequences of law. Because the laws of 1681 that said that you couldn't uh, come to court and testify against the white male still still stood. And the evidence of that is you just look at the Emmett Till cases and all the, all the many cases that were like it, were, uh, were, were the, the thousands and thousands of, of images of Jacob that was hung, their, their fingers were cut off, members were dismembered, bodies burned, tar, hot tar, tar and feather, hot tar uh, poured down their throat publicly before crowds of people who actually took images of themselves. All right. And it's funny, they'll take my image off my video, give you history, history and facts and call me a racist and hateful and all, uh, everything else. But you still have, you have pictures and, and film of the people at the crime scene of the murders they committed. And still those people and their families have not been made to pay for those things to this day yet. Even though you can identify some of those people and find out who they are and who their families are. But no one, there's no trolls searching the images of Jake that's hanging from a tree with his, with his body burned to a crisp and, and searching out who the sheriffs, policemen, the policemen, the firemen, the doctors, the lawyers, and the family man with their children standing around in the crowd pointing to it and taking pictures with it. No one's doing that with their modern technology. Shows white men are more prone to depression stemming from stressful life events than black men or all women. Stressful life events. What stressful life? Are you kidding me? They don't get pulled over. They don't get followed around in a store. When they walk into it. This is a uh, Isaiah. The 14th chapter. All right. And this and I'm going to start at verse 20 and it says, Thou shall not be joined with them in burial, because thou destroyed thy land and slain thy people. And the seed of evil duels will never be renowned. So this is it for you. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor will fill the face of the world with cities. So no more cities full of Edomites. All right. For I will rise up against them, saith Yahweh of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and the remnant and the son and the nephew say of the Lord, they're going to have no males left, man. All right. And your heritage is through your male, through the men. So they weren't going to be left to every, all the other, all the other nations, man. All right. Mainly to Jake. It just is what it is. That's the truth. Okay. This is Jeremiah uh, 32 and 18. Thou showest loving kindness unto thousands and recompense the iniquity of the fathers into the bosom of their children after them. That the that the, the great and the mighty God, Yahweh of hosts, is his name. Yahweh proclaim this and profess this in the scriptures. That this would be their end. And now their end is manifest. You know, they they're we're, we're, we're definitely without a uh, question without living in the last moments of the last days. Okay. The son of perdition uh, has been revealed. All right. That's in uh, Thessalonians. All right. When the son of perdition is, uh, uh, is to be revealed. All right. And that has happened. All right. So with that, I want to give all praises going on unto you. How about you? I was shy. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders. Right, salutations to you, Akim, that are listening and learning to the Akwathium. All right, and a Baba Ball.